Hi everyone, um, as some of you may already know, I've started up my own website, uh, fearblandness.com, pretty easy, um, and I recently wrote a blog post about something that is very important to me, and I feel I have two audiences, I have those who read the blogs, and read my Twitter stuff and stuff like that and those who watch my videos and this is a really important message that I really want to get across and I don't usually do this but for those of you who prefer to watch the videos or listen to my opinions which I'm still puzzled as to why you want to do that um, I want to read you my blog post so that it will be spread to more people. Now you'll soon find out that this is not a selfish thing that I'm doing for more publicity. Um, it simply fits in with the message that I'm trying to get out there. Now of course you don't have to listen to me read it if you would like to read it in your own head with your own eyes. Um, I'll provide the links in the description or you can just go to fearblandness.com and it will be there. Anyway let's get started. So the blog post is called It's Your Responsibility to get the shot. And this is what I wrote. This is an issue very close to my usually cold and concrete heart, as it involves the lives and deaths of innocents from completely preventable diseases and infections. With the recent explosion of the anti-vaxxers circling internet forums, television and communities, I felt helpless to stop them or challenge their disastrous message. I thought, what can I do as an individual to make their toxic message just a little bit less effective? I'm going to help strengthen herd immunity and urge others to do the same. If we can't silence the anti-vaxxers' dangerous vocal arguments, we can silently protect those they affect by doing our part biologically. I was worried that this post might conjure up images of me sitting on a very high horse dictating what you should do and how great I am for suggesting you do so. If that does come to mind, what colour is the horse? Listen, if this post reminds one person to get their booster shots, then I consider that a large victory. A lot of anti-vaxxers recoil in horror at the mention of herd immunity, as if they're being referred to as mindless sheep being herded into the doctor's office in an orderly assembly line, if only that were the case. Herd immunity is the immunity of a large proportion of the members of society and the consequent lessening of the likelihood of an affected individual coming into contact with a susceptible individual. These susceptible individuals are usually newborn babies who are too young and vulnerable to receive their vaccinations for various infections such, in, such as whooping cough, pertussis and the measles. So basically the logic of herd immunity dictates that the more individuals who are vaccinated, the chances that a chain of disease transmission will be interrupted are very high, resulting in self-contained small outbreaks that will die off quickly. What many adults do not know, and what I'm endeavouring to spread the word about, is that you need booster shots. I was surprised to learn that vaccinations I received as a young child are not permanent. This is why I'm not a doctor. And your body needs reminding with regards to fighting these infections. Vaccinations for adults are also highly stressed for new parents or people who are in contact with young and vulnerable babies and children. What actually spurred me on to get my boosters was the fact that my neighbour is pregnant and I will no doubt be interacting with, holding, kissing and sucking the youth out of this newborn baby. I feel like it's my responsibility to be vaccinated before handling this new innocent baby. I am the adult and for visits where I am responsible for the baby's health, not dropping him, holding him correctly and basically keeping him alive, I should be vaccinated against any infections that he may catch. The same logic applies to older children who I am in contact with as part of my work, study or volunteering. I do not know whether these children have been vaccinated. If I can be one more person that they interact with who cannot infect them, I see this as only a positive result of booster vaccinations. 
Their parents have obviously decided against vaccinating their children, something I very much disagree with and with the help of Stop the AVN am trying to change. And I can't change that, but I can help herd immunity by protecting the innocents in society. These innocent newborn babies include Dana McCaffrey, who at four weeks old died after being exposed to whooping cough after her mother took her outside in a notoriously anti-vax area of New South Wales here in Australia. My heart breaks every time I hear this story, both for the painful death of the beautiful little baby and for the guilt that her family feels for not knowing about the blatant apathy in their community with regards to immunisation. I've included a link um, in the description box um, about Dan Dana's story. Although verbal back and forths with the anti-vax groups may be falling on deaf ears, you can do your part to fight their dangerous messages. Do exactly what they're campaigning against. Get vaccinated. Next time you go to your GP, discuss possible booster shots that you're eligible for. Swallow some concrete and get the shot. Then, when you've had your little band-aid and lollipop for being such a good patient, tell anyone who will listen about what you did and why. You never know whose life you might be saving in the future. Now, I don't usually ask much of you guys, of uh, viewers, new, old, um, seasoned, or, but I would really, really like you to spread this however you can. Spread being the uh, main word here. Um, you can spread the blog post, you can spread this video, or you can just talk to people about it, bring it up in conversation with someone. Um, you don't have to necessarily spread my media or my work about it, but I would, this is something that really, really is important to me. And if I could spread any message, it would be this to, um, as adults, be responsible for your society, for the health of your society and for the health of innocence because um, they have no control over whether they get vaccinated or not and therefore do not have control over any infections they might um, get that are completely preventable. So yeah, I would really love it even if you just sent this on to one person or told one person. Um, word of mouth is going to make this um, more effective and um, fighting the good fight against the anti-vaxxers who are doing some serious harm to our communities. Um, I've also included a link um, in the description for Australians um, an Australian health uh, medical government website that tells you all about um, what booster vaccinations you're eligible for, where you should get them, when you should get them, what type of diseases you'll be um, preventing by getting them. So yeah, I really, 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 really urge you guys to um, share any of this information with anyone you can get your hands on. And it would be even better if you could get your hands on some anti-vaxxers and try and talk them through some of this logic. Might not stick, but you've given it a go. So yeah, thanks everyone. Um, all the details are in the description box and I hope that you go out there and get your booster vaccinations like I will be doing very, very soon for my next GP visit. Thanks for listening. Bye.